tell me never change But I think what they mean isn't what they say I'll always be the same kid speaking from his heart The one who steps into the lab all to push the art Who steps into his mind just to pick Hey guys, welcome to the channel um, I'm so happy to be doing this video today And I'm glad to have the support that I have So you're a hard gainer um, how to eat to gain muscle. I went and did this uh, information. I put this all together for you guys. <clears throat> and this is going to make total sense. So, you're a skinny guy or you're just tired of being overweight. You, you want to have a complete muscular look and put on some muscle. The first thing that you're going to want to do is more calories. You're going to have to increase your calorie intake. Um, I struggled as a young guy. Uh, I was real skinny, had a hard time to put on weight. And you're going to have to increase your calories. And then I had fats, proteins, and carbs. And I'm going to explain this to you. So increasing your calorie intake is the first thing. Not McDonald's, not Burger King, not all this bad stuff. That's a terrible way to bulk. Because what will happen is when you are skinny, or if you get into a routine of doing that, you're going to be putting on body fat, your testosterone is going to drop. Um, as soon as your metabolism wears off, you'll develop some bad um, you know, attributes and, and things like that. You do not want to get into a bulking process like the dirty bulk of putting on muscle. So, I have almonds and walnuts, as you can see here. Just one cup is 523 grams for almonds. 529, I'm sorry, calories, 523, 529 calories for one cup of uh, almonds and one cup of walnuts. So those are good fats, uh, good calories. Okay, this one you're really going to like. So I have ghee, grass-fed uh, butter, which is this right here, is really good stuff. There's 112 calories per tablespoon. You have olive oil, which is 119 calories per tablespoon. And then you have uh, coconut oil, which is 117 per tablespoon. So what you'll do, this is what I do. You'll take your, your coconut oil, your ghee, your olive oil, and you'll take one tablespoon of each, put it in a little shot glass like this, Put it in the microwave, heat it up for 35 seconds, bam, drink it down. And the ghee actually flavors it really well. It has a lot of good flavor. So you're talking, if you do that three, if you do that three times a day, what I just told you, that's already 1,044 calories. Already, just three little glasses of this, a shot glass. So uh, that's one way that you can put on size. Um, we haven't even re and it's going to vary from person to person because you're, um, what you're doing during the day, you might have a harder job, like using more energy, more your metabolism's higher than somebody else's. Um, so you want to at least eat five meals a day. But if you can't eat five meals a day, that's when this liquid form of coconut oil, olive oil, these fats are going to come in handy. See, this is a clean way to bulk because your calorie intake is already going up a lot. I mean, you do that three times a day, and that's not even including what you're going to eat here. So if I go into um, proteins, you're going to have, you know, th these are examples. Skinless grilled chicken, um, 110 calories per breast, a protein shake, um, it all, usually, a lot of protein shakes I see are like 250 to 300, you know, they, it all depends, they vary, but they can be up there between those areas and calories. Uh, salmon has your mega fats, your mega threes and things like that, so you're going to, your fatty acids, 412 per uh, salmon, the way it's sliced. Um, so you have steak, uh, beef. You want grass-fed because you want something clean. Um, remember, if, if you're eating dirty things, your testosterone is going to drop. And if your testosterone drops, you won't put on size. So that's why it's good to have grass-fed beef. A lot of people don't understand that, but the beef that we eat today has so many like harmful hormones pumping in them. 
and things like that. So that's why I always recommend organic grass-fed eggs have 78 calories per egg. Uh, cottage cheese, one cup is 222 calories. And then you're, you're talking, that's a protein source too, which is amazing. Uh, Greek yogurt, 100 calories. Um, so right here on this board that you're looking at, I mean, you're going to already hit 3,000 calories, well, a little over 3,000 calories, easy. Plus, if you're doing this three times a day, you're going to be well over 4,000 calories. And this will get you to your needs, to where you need to be. Uh, let me uh, adjust here. I'm in my garage doing this video. This is where I work out and do all my good stuff. So your carbs, brown rice, 216 calories per cup, uh, sweet potato, one sweet potato, 114 calories per sweet potato, a banana, 105 calories, mango, 201, so you're going to want your carb, you're going to want, you got to increase your calories, your fats, your, your proteins, you want to keep um, close to your body weight or right at your body weight per pound um, of protein, but remember, you have to have this balance. You need to have your your fats, your proteins, and your carbs because a high protein diet by itself um, will lower your testosterone levels. They've got studies that show uh, men who just eat high protein all the time, um, you'll start losing weight. So this is that's not what you want when you're trying to uh, build muscle. Um, so here's the daily to maintain weight. Um, this is what they recommend, 2,500 for a male, 2,000 for a woman, but this varies because your lifestyle, your job, your exercise, things that you do, um, everybody's metabolism is different, but this is a good example of how you're going to want to eat clean calories and fats and good carbs. These are the things that are going to pack on muscle. Um, you can take fast food and get the same calories, but there's no nutrition in that. See, that's the thing. This is filling nutritional gaps at the same time. So your body, for an example, uh, banana, you're getting potassium, you're getting a good steady uh, flow of sugar, carbohydrates. You, um, a sweet potato has magnesium in it. It has... Uh, so many different things. Potato has potassium in it. Um, so all these things are linked to build testosterone, to build muscle. Um, when you look at salmon, your fatty acids. So this is a great way, if you're a hard gainer, to put on muscle. This is a great way. Your, your uh, testosterone levels will definitely increase. They'll go up with heavy weight training, uh, good night sleep, seven, eight hours eating like this. There's no reason that you shouldn't be able to put on some size and build muscle. It just, it's, for some people, it just takes a lot. You just have to, I mean, if you're eating 4,000 calories a day, it's not working. Eat five. I mean, you have to do, you have to do what it takes because we're all different. Everybody's body's different. But these things right here will work guaranteed for anybody. You just have to uh, apply it. So that's, that's pretty, pretty amazing when you look at this because the almonds and walnuts, man, they're loaded. With cal I mean, look at the calories in the, the one piece of salmon that's cut. And if, if you're looking at um, avocados, let's see, right here, 322 calories. So that, that's loaded. <laughs> and you got good fats in there. You've got B vitamins. You've got different amino acids in avocado. So you're really covering some ground here. Like this is, um, this is a great way to add muscle. And then, you know, you can throw in your vegetables like broccoli. Um, th there's not a lot of uh, calories, but the reason I say you can load your vegetables in here because broccoli has the estrogen effect where it'll keep it in check. Um, 
when you eat uh, cruciferous vegetables, it'll help keep your estrogen levels in check. You don't want your uh, estrogen levels up because if that happens, then you start losing muscle mass. So that's why I would say throw vet green veggies in here with it too. So that's pretty much what I've come up with. And uh, I've, I mean, I've used this myself personally. Like, I've taken all these things I'm showing you, I put it in my body. Uh, I consume the, the olive oil. This thing right here with the fats is three times a day with the oils. Man, I'm telling you, that works. Like, I know it's a huge difference, too. I, I think your uh, sex drive will increase, too, because I know mine did. When I started doing this oil thing, like three times a day, and then uh, I take arginine, too. So, I know taking arginine and doing it, just everything works together. So that's what I'm saying. But, um, like I said, you're going to want to get the organic oil. You're going to stick to the organic oils and try to stick to uh, grass-fed beef and things like that. So you want the most nutritional value out of these foods that you can get. Um, that's why, like, when you go to the gym, I see this a lot. You see guys that are they're big, man. they got big arms. <laughs> But then you see their gut, <laughs> and it's like overlapping and stuff like that. That's not really how you want to bolt. That's not how you want to put on muscle. Um, that's not a clean way. And and I made that mistake. Um, I did not understand nutrition, and that was always my problem all the years I trained. Like, I, my work ethic was good, but I didn't understand nutrition. So I was always lacking um, my potential and then when I started understanding nutrition then it's when it come together I started doing physique shows uh, giving back to other people helping out uh, certified trainer now so this is so important man like if you're one of those guys you're working at all the time you're eating Bojangles and McDonald's and Pizza Hut <laughs> You know, it you might be okay for right now because your metabolism's high, but it's not it's not healthy for one, and number two, it's gonna catch you. It you're gonna all of a sudden one day, crap, man, I'm getting bulky, getting muscles, but man, my stomach's getting thick along with. That's what'll happen. I see it so much in the gyms, man, and I and I actually sometimes I feel I feel bad for some of the guys because they work so hard but then as I get to talk to people and I start talking about what do you eat that always tells the truth it always comes out and I understand why they're not progressing or why they're they're still putting on fat instead of muscle so it's I'm telling you it's the nutrition aspect of it um, this is the clean way to put on muscle mass if you're a hard gainer. So there you go guys, you can try this out. Um, ask me questions, you know, feel free. Show your friends and family. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna keep doing more videos to help you guys out. Stick with it fitness. But anyway, it gonna happen anyway. Change, don't change, don't change Even though